Hello guys, welcome to a new video. My name is Emilio and today I'm going to show you how you can start using the storyboard tool that you have in Krita. So this is a pretty good tool to start creating storyboards. So the first thing we are going to do is we are going to go to new file and we are going to create a new file. So we have a new file and remember that if you are not in the animation workspace, Go to window and then select workspace and go to animation. This is better because now we have the timeline that we are going to probably use it for uh, for doing storyboards. Now that we have that, we are going to go to settings and we are going to dockers. Once we are in dockers, let's go down to storyboard. So this tool, uh, you're going to click it and select. Boop. And now we have this window over here in the right side. If you don't get this tool, it's because you probably don't have the latest Krita version, so make sure you have the latest version so you can have this tool over here. So uh, we are going to go ahead and we are going to create our first storyboard. We are going to the plus sign and we are going to click it. Okay, pretty easy, right? So now we are going to create our first uh, board. It's going to be pretty simple. Let's select a pen because we want to do it with a pen. And we are going to, let's create a story about a guy. Okay, he's here. Uh, and there you go. Let's just make it clear. Okay, boss stop. Okay, so this is a boss stop. And we have a guy over here, he is waiting and uh, it, so it's raining, right? So we are going to have him over here bam, bam. and remember it doesn't have to be perfect guys. It, it has to be only like the idea. So it's raining and he is happy because he's not getting wet. So this is our first board and we now want to make sure it's uh, long enough. So we go over here and we have many options here. First of all, we can change the name so we can put first scene. Okay, super cool because we can name our, our shots and our scene. And then we can change also the seconds that we want this to last. So if we want it to be two seconds, now our first scene is two seconds long, okay? So we play, it's gonna be two seconds. Also, we can change the frames, okay? So it's gonna be two seconds and seven frames. And if we didn't like the board, we can also erase it, okay? In this case, I like it, I'm gonna keep it. And now we can go and create our next scene, okay? So we are going to create a new board and the next board is going to be maybe a close up of the guy that is pretty happy because he's not getting wet. Okay, so he's happy. He's holding the umbrella and there you go. He's happy because and there you go. He's happy because he's not wet. So we have our first shot, then we have our second shot. And this is the best part. If uh, you guys are not too clear of your shots and you maybe are working with someone else, you wanna explain them what, what is going on in this uh, scene, right? So we can go over here to comments. Okay, over here we go. And then we go to comments and we create a comment. And we're gonna put explanation. Okay, and in the comment we're gonna write guy is waiting for the boss and he is and he's holding an umbrella okay easy and then the next one is it's a close-up and the guy is happy and there you go it's looking pretty good and we can put play and we can see our story. So there you go. And then we go to the close up and our close up is pretty short because it's a zero, zero seconds and one frame. So let's make that better. We might do it one second. 
So we have a happy guy. Boom. That's great. We're going to create a new board and we can select over here. We can copy the keyframe. We go to our new board and we paste the keyframe. And there you go. Now we have this uh, board, we copy it over here. And we're going to add a new layer over here and we are going to create a, a boss, okay? So there you go, this is a boss. And then we are going to create a new board. We're gonna copy keyframes and we're gonna paste keyframes. There you go. So we have the boss coming and here we are going to create, we're gonna put the boss over here. So he's happy. Bam. And then bam. So it's water all over. And there you go. So let's play. Let's see how it is going. So this is pretty fast. Okay, our board is pretty fast. So let's make it more frames, maybe 12 frames. Then we go to our next board and let's make it 10 frames. And let's see how it is looking. And there you go guys. So now we have the boss. So he's obviously, he's gonna make him wet. And then we have this guy, we're gonna copy. We're gonna again copy this keyframe. We're gonna copy keyframes. We go to our latest board. Okay. And we are going to paste keyframes. And now because the boss pass and the guy is all wet. And obviously he's not happy right anymore. So ugh. So our little guy is not happy anymore because he is all wet. And there you go guys, you have the story and it's actually pretty simple. Now we could go and animate this thing and let's play it just to see how it looks. So we have a happy guy, then we close up over here and then the boss passes and he makes him work. Really simple, right? It's not a piece of art, but at least we plan it. It took us like 10 minutes to plan this animation. And now we could go and make an actual animation that looks pretty good. And based on this uh, storyboard, we can just go ahead and create our animation. So this is a pretty cool way to actually start doing storyboards. I think Rita is pretty good for this kind of stuff to make it to make a simple, simple storyboards that will help you create some fun animations later on. So once you're done, if you want to export, you can export as a PDF. So just go over here. You can go export as a PDF. And there you go, guys. You, you select the size that you want. The orientation, in this case, is landscape, right? Because I have it as landscape, not as portrait. And the board uh, columns or rows or, or whatever you want. Also the font size, you can make it bigger and you just put the path where you want to export. Just, and there you go, export it. Once your storyboard is ready, you can go and look at this. This is pretty awesome. You have your uh, storyboard in a pretty cool format and now you can show it to your clients or to whoever is gonna help you create the animation or even for yourself but at least you have your short or whatever you're creating you have it in a pdf format and it looks pretty cool it looks pretty, pretty professional and it's way better to plan our animation like this 
than to just go ahead and try to animate without a plan because it's gonna take so so much longer to actually animate something that is not planned so i recommend you to always plan your animations so this is it for the video i hope you like it and i hope you learned something remember i have more tutorials on the channel for krita and i'm gonna be putting more stuff to help you create your own stories so don't forget to follow give it a like and i'll see you in the next video guys bye bye